let's talk about notes on the sixth string of the guitar. One of the things that helps guitar players remember where they are is the um, concept of dots and inlays. <clears throat> so you notice that I have um, inlays uh, as well as dots on the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and twelfth frets. Each one of these corresponds to a whole note, except for the ninth. So let's ignore that for now. But if we just look at 3, 5, 7, and 12, uh, we have a G, A, B, and E. That gives us about half the scale as far as natural notes. What we're missing is D, which is on the 10th fret, C on the 8th fret, and F on the first fret. Okay? So I would say start with 3, 5, 7, and 12. Memorize those. G, A, B, E. Right? Then add F, C, and D. F, C, and D. If you play all of these together, they're the same notes that you'll find in the C major scale, the white keys of the piano. And <clears throat> I might go up these notes with one finger and sliding, just to make it sound like music. Descending. These also correspond to power chords with the root on the sixth string. If you have those memorized, you've pretty much memorized most of the notes on the sixth string. All you're missing are the in-between notes. So um, in between F and G, you have this note which can be called uh, F-sharp or G-flat. More commonly, it's called F-sharp. In between G and A, you have A-flat or G-sharp, more commonly called A-flat. Between A and B, A-sharp or B-flat. And then we're back to this inlay here, which is between C and D, so that can be C-sharp or D-flat. Okay, so once you've memorized all the natural notes, then you need to go through and uh, memorize the accidentals. Once you've got those, you should be able to memorize every note on the E string. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A flat, A, A sharp, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D flat, D, D, D sharp, B flat, and E. And those are the notes on the sixth string of the guitar.